Elon Musk and Tesla have been attempting to establish a presence in the Indian electric vehicle business for the past few years, but have been unsuccessful. The American car maker may be compelled to wait much longer than previously anticipated in light of recent developments in India. According to Reuters, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi's administration and Tesla have reached an impasse over import tariffs and local manufacture. When Tesla formed a local company in 2021, the country's chances for a Tesla facility seemed very promising. Tesla's direct actions raised hopes that India, like the United States, China and Germany, may one day be able to enter the ranks of global electric vehicle manufacturing hubs. These goals, however, are quickly fading away. A story published by Reuters claimed that the Prime Minister Modi's government was suspicious of Tesla's lobbying efforts since the company had not yet revealed any firm strategy to invest in the country, citing unnamed officials with the knowledge of the matter. So does it mean no more Tesla in India? Or is there anything else that many people are missing in this Tesla-India relationship? Well, let's look at why Tesla is failing to enter Indian market in the first place. Following his election as Prime Minister of India in 2014, Narendra Modi's first statement to the world was that India's manufacturing operations would become one of the world's most powerful under his leadership. In September of the same year, Modi formally launched Make in India, a government initiative aimed at encouraging companies from all over the globe to develop, manufacture and assemble goods in India by making large investments in manufacturing infrastructure. Despite a shaky start, the program has continued to run. General Motors has made a $1 billion investment in a manufacturing facility in Maharashtra, where Tesla was rumored to be considering developing its own factory. As of January 2019, Kia had already begun producing cars at its Anantapur district facility in India, where the company invested $1.1 billion throughout 2017. When it comes to electric cars, India's automotive industry is still trailing behind other countries though. Electric vehicles account for less than 1% of all automobiles on the roads of India. Because of the massive $27 billion budget committed to those programs, India has been seeking to lure corporations to relocate their manufacturing to the country. The question is, why is it that Tesla, a company most famous for building the world's most advanced electric vehicles, is having such trouble winning a contract to manufacture its cars in India? Well, between what Tesla wants and what India demands, there appears to be a divide between the two. When Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted in early 2022 that there were still challenges when interacting with the Indian government, it appeared that the company's ideas for lower import taxes had fallen by the wayside. According to some Indian politicians, demand testing, which is a critical component of Tesla's plans to join the Indian market, will be impossible to conduct if import taxes remain too high. If they have to produce here, they need the numbers, and no one can test the market when you put such a high import tax on autos, said Nitin Gadkari, the Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways, back in 2021. Given that import tariffs are not a barrier, Tesla could use the current data to determine whether or not it was economically feasible to establish a gigafactory in India. But based on sales statistics from the last 10 years, Tesla would never build a plant in India since relatively few people can afford electric vehicles when import taxes are involved. However, you may be wondering, how high are those import taxes? Now, vehicles with a purchase price of less than 40,000 US dollars are subject to 40% tax, and any car that costs more than 40,000 US dollars is subject to a 100% tax, which doubles the cost of the vehicle. Tesla does not yet offer any electric cars in its portfolio, priced at less than $40,000. So you can imagine the cheapest Tesla in India would cost upwards of $80,000 US dollars. 
to bring it to India and sell it to a local customer, which is just not feasible. The problem is that import tariffs are a significant source of anxiety for everybody involved in the supply chain. For the time being, at least, India appears to be opposed to it, although a cut in import taxes would have a little immediate impact on its massive $27 billion budget. The tax losses arising from the reduction in tariffs may still be accounted for in that budget. One possible explanation for Tesla's tardy launch into India is the automaker's vertical integration, which reduces the need for third-party companies. This may appear to be unachievable in India because ACMA's president Robert L. Smith says that localization should always be a priority and that companies entering the market should support local production across the whole supply chain, not only with the end product in mind. This category includes advanced components such as semiconductors to more simple components such as automobile seats. In fact, Tesla does manufacture its own microcontrollers and the seats for its vehicles inside its gigafactories. Compare Tesla to other automakers, or for that matter, any company, and you will see that Tesla is insanely vertically integrated. Actually, Musk anticipated by late 2020 that he and his mega company would have a large amount of internal manufacturing technology that they would be able to build entirely on their own. Because of Tesla's vertical integration, the company does not have as much to offer other sectors and businesses as a car maker that is less vertically integrated into its operations. As a result, India finds itself at a crossroads. There have been rumors that Tesla is planning to get parts from local merchants, but few facts have backed up these assumptions. On the other hand, the intensity of the competition is the most crucial issue to think about. Maruti Suzuki and other Indian manufacturers are the dominant players in the country's internal combustion engine vehicle market. In December of last year, Maruti had a 54% share of the Indian automobile market. Mahindra and Tata Motors are also key players in the industry. The electric car industry is already exhibiting signs of following its predecessor's footsteps. Tata Motors, for example, had a 62% share of the electric vehicle market in the first quarter of the 2020-2021 fiscal year. This was made possible by introducing an electric SUV earlier last year. Although Elon Musk and India are waiting to see who would flinch first, Mercedes-Benz, one of Tesla's top global competitors, is allegedly growing its cooperation with the government's Make in India program. According to the Times of India, two of Mercedes-Benz's most cutting-edge vehicles, the next electric Maybach and the EQS, will now be made in India. 13 of the company's 25 models are produced in India already. And earlier in 2020, Mercedes-Benz announced that the AMG high-performance automobiles would be added to its India inventory too. Despite being the world's fifth largest automotive market, India relies on manufacturers to sell massive numbers of vehicles while maintaining low profit margins. A Tesla Model 3 costs three times more than some of India's best-selling EVs when the reductions are considered. The basic price of Tata Motors Tiger EV amounts to approximately $12,800. So, even if the potentially cheapest Tesla's model is priced at $25,000, just a limited percentage of Indian consumers will be able to purchase one. Tesla would need to make its electric vehicles a lot less expensive to become a big player in India's EV industry no matter what. But there are more problems down the road. Tesla's facing an uphill battle in this sector, and to be a success in India, Tesla must adhere to its stated policies and procedures. Many of Elon Musk's fans are well aware that this is not the first time the Tesla CEO has shown interest in India's EV market. Elon expressed hope four years ago that the company would begin selling automobiles in India by the summer of 2017. However, that never happened, and another date was set for the year 2019, but this did not happen either.
Musk claimed in 2019 that if not in 2019, 2020 would be the year the company would begin selling in India. But after much deliberation, the new deadline was determined for 2021. But the cards seem to be stacked against Tesla once more, and no new dates have been scheduled as of yet to address this situation. The question of whether Tesla will ever set foot in India is one to which there is no definitive answer at the time. For its part, Tesla has been teasing the possibility of a market debut for the past seven years, since before Prime Minister Modi paid a visit to the company's Fremont HQ in 2015. But for the time being, the long-running standoff between Tesla and India seems to continue. And we're not even talking about how recent inflation and supply chain problems are causing both used and brand new car prices to soar up to the sky. Things can go either way for Tesla, but we will see you in the next video.